incredibly interesting. I always thought it was very difficult to make Indian food and that you needed a PhD in home economics basically in order to be able to do it. The spices uh, I thought were phenomenally complex and thanks to Cavalry's teaching I learned today that in fact you are able to do it at home with relatively simple means. We, we had an explosion of, uh, of fabulous composite tastes which were put together with, with very simple ingredients that you can find in any supermarket and the one thing I learned today is I think I too can cook Indian food if I put my mind to it. I've already done some Indian cooking, but this was a chance to learn the Bengali cuisine and I found out a few secrets and I thought the marrow with the coconut was absolutely delicious and the dal had a very full flavor. I have to say I enjoyed every minute of it. I learned so much about Indian cooking, which is one of my absolute favorite food. It's the food that represents our love story and the fact that I'd be able to cook at home with all these beautiful spices really makes me very, very happy. What I really want to know, and I've learned a lot tonight, is that mysterious ingredient that makes all this very complex and wonderfully multi-layered cooking seems so simple and so calm. How does she do it? And I suspect that the answer might be found somewhere within the ghee, or the G, or how is it pronounced? The ghee. Ghee. And I'm looking forward to another lesson where the ghee is explained.